So I get asked all the time, can you burn waste oil with sawdust? I'm going to show you how I do it. Here we go. Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If you'd like to learn how to make stoves like this one, waste oil burners, and lots and lots of other DIY projects, you could start now by subscribing and click on the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. So this is probably going to be a very short video. This is what waste oil and sawdust mix looks like. Now I'm going to show you how I mix it, but this is what it looks like when it is mixed. So it's, it's like that. When I squeeze it, you know, nothing comes out. All right. It's kind of got the consistency of fairly dry porridge, oatmeal, that sort of thing, you know. So anyway, look, I'm after vacuuming up. This is, um, you know, a Dyson, right? And it's got a ton of sawdust in it because I've been using it for collecting sawdust. You can see it, it's absolutely packed. It's got sawdust and, you know, fluff and dust and whatever else was around the place. So what I'm going to do is just split it and throw the sawdust into the pre-mixed, you know, stuff. Right, so that's it. You know, as I said, this thing is packed. If I get some in the bucket, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's dust and, um, and sawdust, but mostly sawdust. Okay. And literally all I'm going to do is throw the sawdust in on top of this. This stuff is fairly liberal. You know, there's no hard and fast rule. So look, whoa. <laughs> so there's dust and sawdust in this now, the things I do. All right. So here we have, this is waste vegetable oil. This is just ordinary vegetable oil that's been used and is finished with. Okay, this is two litres. Now, I'm not going to get two litres in on that, but I should get at least a litre in. So we'll just... Now, I'm asked all the time, is this safe? You know, will it oil up the chimney? Now, I do use it now and again inside, you know, in the main house, in my house. And um, if you burn it hot enough so that you're not making a ton of smoke, if I, you know, like, get this going... Um, and choke down the fire so I'm just producing smoke. Well then, you know, there's a good chance. It's a bit like creosote. But if you burn your fire nice and hot, um, yeah, I haven't had any trouble with it. When I go at my uh, my chimney, I just get, you know, dry ash. So, and that's it. So look, I've got that in there. I'll just get a bit of a stick. Okay, I'm actually burning this stuff. This was just all rotten timber, screws and all, and that's what's going on in there at the moment. So. And maybe you can see into the stove. But that's all I'm burning. So I'll just try that one in and get one. Well, I was trying to get one without nails <laughs> or screws. Okay, here's here's a better one. All right, so we try that one in. And we'll just close over the door for now. Right, so I'm just using this to mix what's in here with the oil. Now, you could put this in a battery drill, you know, a little mixer in a battery drill and spin it. No problem, but I'm just trying to show you so we've put about, I don't know, a quarter of a, of a litre. Now the stuff in the bottom of this was already mixed. So I'm really only wetting up what's, what's in the top of it. Okay, we've over a litre in there now. I think I'll get a better, better stick. Hang on. Okay, so I have a nail bar here. I suppose the next question I'm asked is how long you get out of it. It depends on how much you put in. Um, you know, I've got to put this in a bag. There we go, we're a fair bit through this now. And as I said, you don't want it going in, you know, dripping wet. Okay, so that's probably it. It's a bit like mixing sand and cement or something. I'll just show you the setup now. Okay, so that's it. It still moves around and it's not, you know, it's not gonna pour out of the bucket. All right, so how do you use it? Now, there's a few ways of doing this. All right, we've got a small bag here. This came out of the chipper, you know, for, <laughs> for fries. Okay, so just literally throw it in the bag.
I'll show you another way of doing it now in a sec. Okay, so there's probably about a kilo in there, about two pounds in weight. All right, I can actually smell the chips out of it. And that's it, look. Now we've probably got about two pounds in weight, a kilo in that. And, uh, and that's it, you know, you don't have to throw it in and wait for a big whoosh. There won't be any big whoosh. Make sure it's, it's vegetable oil. You can even use motor oil this way. But make sure there's no petrol or anything like that, in, no gasoline. Okay, so look. And that's it, and I'll give you a look in there. You know, as I said, you don't have to close the door really fast. And you can see what's going. The paper bag is beginning to burn. So, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just after pulling the paper off the, uh, the heat log, if that's what you want to call it. Now, I know it's not compressed, it's just sawdust and oil. So, I've left the door open for a few minutes now, and you can see it burn. It doesn't burn instantaneously, it just burns away, you know, mellow sort of a burn. And that's with the door open. When I close the door, you can see the flames diminish. When I open the bottom door, you can see them pick up. Can you hear that? <laughs> Jesus, there's a ton of heat out of this thing now. I built the stove so that I could convert it to run on waste oil, uh, be it vegetable oil or motor oil or anything else, if I want to. But um, I'm going to do a couple of simple conversions. I've done all this before, but with other stoves. And, um, but this one I made from, you know, obviously an oil drum. And this was a cast iron door off an old stove I have in videos years ago. And uh, you can see that. And then I built a kind of a frame. And the idea is that I can burn out the, the barrels over time. You know, they, they don't last forever, but certainly you get years out of them. I could burn out the barrels or decide that the barrels be on service, take this part off it and bolt it on. And I kind of made it as a kit, as a door, you know, a draft or a you know, cleaning door. And it also regulates the draft. And I've got a, you know, the parts that the flue connects to on the back. And uh, those three items come off this particular barrel and I'd have them on another barrel with, with new rope, new fiberglass rope, very quickly. But there is a ton of heat. It's actually quite cold at the moment. It's about five degrees C here at the minute. Um, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's quite cold. Zero C is, uh, is freezing, so we're only five degrees above that. And it's windy, it's about 20, 25 mile an hour winds uh, again. So uh, we're just beginning to get into the heating season. I just did some uh, stair treads. I cut a load of stair treads for a, a stair project I'm doing. Uh, in, where I'm renovating this building next door and um, and I'll let you in on that as well but look there you go can you burn waste oil with sawdust and the answer is yes um, can you do it at home in your house I don't know that's that's up to you but um, I do I tr now and again I I'll make kind of these logs put them into the fire and they work so that's all I'd say <laughs> be careful you know you can hear that roar in the bottom of it when I open that. Now I made it that way specifically for burning waste oil and I'll show you what I did in the next video when I'm doing um, the conversion. So another handy way of doing these logs is literally just to dump some of it on the paper. So I've got some newspapers there. You can see what's going into it. Okay, so no act of parliament here. And literally, if I can wrap it, <laughs> it's going in. So that's it. Look, you could, you could pre-make these for an evening or something, but uh, we're, I'm just in the shed here at the moment. Now, just to show you this, this is just some newspaper with about a kilo, two pounds, three pounds of sawdust in it with some waste oil. And we're literally just going to throw that in. Now, it didn't hold together very well, so you could make better parcels. It was the only newspaper I could find. And uh, it's more like a magazine. It's quite small. But there you go, look. Burning away, no problem, no big whoosh. It just burns a bit like coal, somewhere between coal and a log. So, uh, pretty good. And if I open the bottom one, you can hear that roar. You can probably see it on the flame as well. And that's it. That's how I regulate the, uh, the draft going into this stove. Now, I have a little bit of cleaning up to do, but no biggie. You could do this on a table. You could make proper parcels out of stuff. It was just rough and ready for me. So I need a lot of heat in this shed, and I manage to heat it every winter for free. And um, yeah, it's, so it's more than possible. You can be as warm as you like. But um, anyway, lots more videos to come. Um, if you have any suggestions, that sort of thing, you know, um, in the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.